Sure, Western New York has a bit of a reputation for lake effect snow. And I mean, you can't really argue with images like this. But I bet you even lifers would be surprised to hear at just how little lake effect contributes to some of our biggest seasons. So where does all that other snow come from? That's what I'm explaining in this week's Heather's Weather Wise. Would you believe that only about a third of Buffalo's season snowfall total comes from lake effect? Yep, I pulled some data from the National Weather Service over the past five years. Here I'm comparing the season snowfall to the amount that actually fell because of a lake effect snow event. I also took the liberty of doing the math for you and worked out the percentages. What you notice with the exception of 2018 is that our biggest seasons tend to have far less contribution from lake effect, but our smaller seasons tend to be almost half lake effect snow. So where does the other two thirds of our annual snowfall come from? There's a couple different places. One of them is something called a clipper storm. We talk about these a lot in late winter. Clippers are named after the fast moving ships of the 19th century. They start as weak areas of low pressure in Western Canada and then race their way down the jet stream. The snow along with these systems can be intense and widespread, but it usually doesn't last for very long. Clippers also tend to line up like cars on a railroad track and you can get as many as two or three within the span of a week. Larger storms tracking through the Ohio Valley or up the Appalachians have brought some big snow to Western New York and the rest of the Northeast. If these storms track just to our east, that puts us on the cold side, right next to the band of where the heaviest of the snow usually sets up. This type of setup can bring us blizzard-like conditions, just like in 1993 and 2010. Finally, nor'easters. They grab national attention mainly because of the wind, tidal flooding, and snow they can bring to some of the biggest cities in the country. But for us, we're usually too far west to pick up much snow, unless, of course, the winds reach far enough to stir up some lake effect. As for this season, we're seeing the potential for a few more of these widespread snowstorms, but of course, lake effect is always on the table for us. If you haven't seen our winter weather outlook yet, go check it out at WGRZ.com. I'll see you next week with a new episode of Heather's Weather Wise, but until then, remember, it's good to be a geek.